everybody, how are you today? My name is Amy Hughes and I am a water education coordinator at the Boise Watershed. Thank you for joining us for our stream story time. This week we are going to be focusing on gardening and seeds. And I'm going to be reading Oh Say Can You Seed. It's a Dr. Seuss book from the Cat in the Hat Library. It was written by Bonnie Worth and illustrated by Aristides Ruiz. And it talks about seeds and how they turn from seeds into plants. After the story, I'm gonna put a link in our description to a fun little YouTube video that will show you guys how to make your very own pot from a recycled toilet paper tube. And you guys can actually create this little seed pot and plant a seed and take care of it, water it, and watch it grow. So this is a carrot seed. Look how great my carrot is doing right now. So um, let's go ahead and get started with the story. Oh, say can you seed. I'm the cat in the hat, and I think that you need to come take a look at this thing called a seed. From the giant gum tree to this very small weed, every flowering plant started out as a seed. Plants are so useful to me and to you. Can you think of the ways? I will name you a few. The paper for books and the cloth for your plants came from trees and from cotton. That's two kinds of plants. The grains and the fruits and the veggies you eat. Why they come from plants too. And here's something neat. In deserts and woods and rainforests thick, grow plants that can make you feel well when you're sick. Yes, plants serve us well and fill so many needs. And flowering plants all started as seeds. Just what is a seed, you are wondering maybe. Well, you might say a seed is a tiny plant baby. The best way for you to see just what I mean is to take a close look at a seed called a bean. Like all seeds, a bean comes in three basic parts. Thing one and thing two, please bring on the charts. Part one is the first that I think you should know. It's the part that's the baby. It's called embryo. To sprout, it needs food like you and I do, which brings us to seed part numero two. It's called catalidin. Say, isn't that fun? This bean seed has two, but some others have one. Last comes the third part that you need to know. It's the coat which protects our cute bean embryo. So there you see the embryo, the cotyledon, and the coat, all parts of a bean seed. To sprout a bean seed, keep it moist but not wet, keep it covered with dirt, and then see what you get. In seven or so days, comes the part that I love. A root spreads below and a stem shoots above. Oops, see that picture? Now in order to show a grown bean plant to you, we've traveled in time for some months, maybe two. Thing two calls the part above ground the shoot system Thing one calls the part underground the root system. All the different parts there. To get a good look at the roots underground, it is better to make like a mole I have found. Roots are not pretty, they're twisty and hairy, and some roots look even a little bit scary. Roots anchor a plant and help it stand true. Roots sup up the water and minerals too. And roots keep the soil from just washing away. That's pretty important now, wouldn't you say? 
We've talked about roots, we have learned about them. Now it is time we moved on to the stem. The stem is a pipe through which water shoots. It's absorbed from the soil and passed up through the roots. It shoots through the plant and next, as you'll see, the leaves each turn into a food factory. Just like the rhinos protected with horns, the stem of a rose is protected with thorns. Leaves come in all shapes and all sizes I've found. Some small and some spiky, some big and some round. But the thing that all leaves have in common is this. They make their own food by photosynthesis. I'll say this quite loudly. I don't mean to be rude, but plants are the only living things on earth that make their own food. To do this, plants need water, minerals, and sun. And that's why the daytimes when food making's done. For your information and also for fun, hop into my shrink upper and let's see how it's done. This leaf takes in CO2 through a stoma or pore. It works like a mouth and that's what it's for. Then the air gets mixed in with the water and sun and that's how the food making factory is run. I see by my clock that now is the hour to drop in and say a hello to the flower. Plants breathe out gas that we breathe in. The name of that gas is oxygen. Look at that showing how the plants take in CO2 or carbon dioxide and release oxygen, which is what we breathe. Thank you to the plants, huh? Thing two has a chart, he will share it with you, that shows what the parts of a flower all do. In the pistils are ovules, they're unfertilized seeds. The stamen holds pollen, which an ovule needs. An unfertilized ovule will not ever grow, and pollen's the stuff will that will fix that, you know. A flower's own pollen or another's is okay, that's where the bees play a role, by the way. Bees are so important. To make honey, bees need to get nectar from flowers. They fly and they gather this sweet stuff for hours. The pollen sticks onto their bodies and legs. It falls off and sometimes it reaches the eggs. An ovule that's fertilized becomes a seed. Around it grows fruit, upon which we feed. When we say the word fruit, do you know what that means? It means olives, nuts, grains, plants, and tangerines. And apples, and oranges, and pineapples too. All kinds of plant foods that are healthy for you. Some fruits are juicy and messy to munch on, Dry ones like nuts are just nice to crunch on. Not all plants with seeds give us edible fruit. Some plants have seeds that look weird or look cute. Burr seeds are hitchhikers that ride on your clothes and dandelion seeds sometimes fly up your nose. Some seeds come in pods that explode like a sneeze other seeds may have wings and can fly on a breeze. But whether they stick or they blow or they fly, things breed us life and now you know why. I see the sun setting and here comes the moon. Your mother is calling, your dinner is soon. I hope you have learned from my little seed talk. And now I will climb up the giant beanstalk. How cool is that? Oh, say can you seed. 
So I was thinking as I was reading the book, a couple of fun things for you guys to do while we're at home is um, you can actually go out into your backyard and look for the different leaves, the different shapes of leaves. So in this picture, it's showing us a lot of different leaves you might find in your yard. Ones with smooth edges or narrow edges or toothed edges or wavy edges. That would be a fun activity for you to do with your mom or your dad or your brother or sister, run around out in the backyard or front yard and look for different types of leaves. And then also this is showing us again, the parts of a flower. So the ovule, the pistil, the stamen, a petal, a stem. So that would be another fun thing to do if you've got flowers in your yard is to look at those flowers and see if you can name the different parts of the flower. So again, guys, I am going to put a link to a little video that is gonna show you how to create, create your very own flower pot using a recycled toilet paper tube, and then you can plant a seed and watch it grow. Thank you so much for joining me today for Stream Story Time. I hope I see you again next week. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome day. Mm -hmm.